Asteroid warning for humanity. Humanity must flee Earth before inevitable asteroid strikes. This is by Sean Martin on Express UK. An asteroid destroyed Earth. Destroying Earth is inevitable. This is according to the head of an organization which hopes to make the first space nation. Plans for Asgardia, a proposed nation in space, which will be an independent country from Earth, where they were revealed in 2016, it will comprise of the nation itself, creating its own legal framework, flag, and other symbols of nationhood, with the project being developed from there, according to the statement from the team behind the idea. Now leaders of ambitious projects stress it is more important than ever to create a safe space for humanity away from Earth, as the prospects of an asteroid destroying our planet is inevitable. Well, where will we go? I mean, are we going to go to the moon? That has more asteroid strikes than Earth does. Are we going to go to Mars? That's a problem there as well. Wherever we go, all the planets in our solar system still have the probability, possibility, of being struck by celestial bodies. It's not just the Earth. When it does happen, they say, this is Igor Asher Bailey, head of Asgardia, says the impact will be more powerful than thousands of atomic bombs. Dr. Asher Bailey said in the last 100 years, the Earth has been hit at least three times by space objects, and each with an explosive power, many times greater than that of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. He says world leaders must intensify efforts to detect and track near-Earth objects, and create ways to deflect them from a strike on Earth. Well, where are they? They should get together, put their heads together, put their finances together, put their scientists together in a pool and come up with a viable solution. You can't rely on just two entities, SpaceX and NASA, for example. So he says, indeed, Asher Bailey says, he's not the only scientist to express concerns regarding such a potential asteroid impact, a collision with Earth, there have been warning signs. The last major asteroid incident occurred in 2013. That's when a 20-meter asteroid meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk in Russia, and it smashed windows, causing injuries to more than 1,000 people. And by the way, that meteor was not even expected. It came out of nowhere. Prior to that, the 1908, a small asteroid up to 190 meters the size exploded over Siberia's Tunguska, which ruined woodlands crossing 800 miles. So in both cases, expert, experts had no idea that these celestial bodies were in, inbound uh, towards an impact with Earth. They were totally surprised. The Tunguska meteor was so big, it wiped out a london size area completely. Uh, now, if it would hit the UK, for example, that's what it would do. London would be wiped out. Professor Alan Fitzsimmons from Queen's University Belfast Astrophysics Research Center recently stated, we may well still be taken by surprise by one of these smaller impacts, such as Chelyabinsk or even Tunguska, so we have to be prepared for that eventuality. And he says, I think time is on our side. We have made such great strides in our scientific understanding and technology that we have at our disposal. But it is a random game at the moment. There could be one hitting tomorrow. There could even be one hitting on asteroid day, which would be slightly ironic. They want to crash into an asteroid. SpaceX News, NASA and Elon Musk team up for this asteroid crash mission. Luke Hawker of Express UK reports NASA is teaming up with SpaceX and together they will launch one of its most daring missions is because of their Earth protection mission to protect humanity from a destructive extinction-level impact event. 
to save humanity from an apocalyptic wipeout. Let's remember that this has happened quite a few times in the past, wiping out almost all life. The Space Agency has instructed the help of Elon Musk and his uh, spaceship company with the first ever attempt to deflect an asteroid by purposely crashing into it. This is the asteroid uh, redirect or deflect mission at an astonishing cost of 53 million pounds, which is 69 million dollars. The double asteroid redirect test, DART for short, will aim to divert any asteroid which threatens the Earth's atmosphere. DART will launch a Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California in June of 2021. Let's remember that one of the asteroids that is going to be coming very close to Earth is Apophis, and uh, they have to do whatever they can to get the technology to be able to save Earth from a, an asteroid impact, obviously. And, of course, it's not just Elon Musk and NASA of the United States that should be paying for this. They should be getting together worldwide and uh, pooling their interests and their resources in order to do this in a much faster and uh, more feasible way. If they only have two people backing such a thing, that's not enough, in my opinion. By October of 2002, 22 that is, the spacecraft will attempt to crash into a Didi moon, which is 550 foot wide, that's 165 meters, going at a speed of 13,500 miles per hour, or six kilometers per second. The collision is expected to take place when the asteroid comes about 11 million kilometers, at 6.8 miles from Earth, and its aim is, to, of course, to redirect the course of the asteroid. Now, to put the distance in perspective, the moon is 240,000 miles away from us, and the sun is 93 million miles away. So, uh, 6.8 million miles. When the rock comes within 6.8 million miles of Earth, that's pretty close, don't you think? The moon is 240,000 miles. So, close enough, the asteroid coming that close, what can I tell you? Uh, to deflect it, uh, crash into it, what is going to be in that... Um, missile? Is it going to be nuclear material? Is it going to be, what is it? Um, now, the collision is expected to take place when the rock comes 6.8 million miles from Earth. The mission will also target another object, which is scientifically known as a moonlet. As NASA states, it's more typical of the size of asteroids that could pose a more common threat hazard to Earth. NASA said the DART spacecraft will achieve the kinetic impact by deliberately crashing itself into the moonlet at a speed of approximately 6 kilometers per second with the aid of an onboard camera and sophisticated autonomous navigation software. The collision will change the speed of this moonlet in its orbit around the, moon, the main body by a fraction of 1%, enough to be measured using telescopes on our Earth. Elon Musk shared his delight on this news, and he said on Twitter, thanks one behalf on, on behalf of SpaceX team, and he added, we love NASA. Okay, and this comes as Mr. Musk SpaceX sent the world's most powerful rocket on its final commercial flight on Thursday. The SpaceX launch delivered a Saudi Arabian satellite into space, and for the first time ever, all three Falcon Heavy rocket boosters returned to Earth after the launch. Musk shared photos of the landing on Twitter, saying the Falcons have landed. Meanwhile, NASA wrote on Twitter, Congratulations to SpaceX on Monday, successful launch and landing of the Falcon Heavy rocket. So from our iconic launch pads at NASA Kennedy, we will continue to support the growing commercial space economy.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.